Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Electro Trainer receives German Ultralight Certification. First new Enstrom helicopter flies. First class of United GA pilots graduates from Arizona facility. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Electra Trainer receives German Ultralight Certification. Electra Solar GmbH announced that its two-place all-electric training and towing aircraft, the Electra Trainer, had received ultralight certification from the German Ultralight Flight Association, a representative agency of Germany's Federal Ministry for Digital Affairs and Transport. Based on 2011's Electra One single-seat ultralight solar-assisted electric propulsion aircraft and designed with an eye toward flight schools and flying clubs, the Electra Trainer's hourly operating cost of about 60 euros is fully half that of a legacy ultralight aircraft. Electra posits the skyrocketing price of conventional aviation fuels, driven by controversial European Union green policies, will further increase the Electra Trainer's cost advantage over its internal combustion-powered competitors. In addition to a 2.5-hour flight duration, a dual-redundant electric powertrain, variable pitch propeller, retractable landing gear, a 25-to-1 glide ratio, and a whisper-quiet 48-decibel takeoff noise signature, the Electra Trainer features perpetual uplink to Electrosolar GmbH's cloud infrastructure. A digital architecture by which aircraft flight data is uploaded and automatically analyzed with the help of AI algorithms. Errors and deviations from baseline normal condition are reported to the aircraft's owner and or a maintenance provider, thereby increasing safety of flight and streamlining repairs and scheduled maintenance. And after the break, U.S. Navy awards Textron multi-engine trainer contract. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth-enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. U.S. Navy awards Textron multi-engine trainer contract. The U.S. Navy has awarded Textron a single, firm fixed price contract to develop the T-54A multi-engine training system aircraft. Subject Airplane will provide advanced instrument and multi-engine training to student naval aviators selected for multi-engine aircraft operations. The base $113.1 million contract is for 10 aircraft. The contract's total value, including options, is $677.2 million for the procurement of up to 64 aircraft, with deliveries to commence in 2024 and continue through 2026. Russia to stand trial for 2014 downing of Malaysian airliner. The European Court of Human Rights has agreed to hear a case that could see Russia held responsible for the 2014 downing of Malaysia Airlines flight MH17. The government of the Kingdom of the Netherlands has long asserted that Russia played a key role in subject disaster, alleging the region of eastern Ukraine over which flight MH17 was shot down by a Russian-made Buk missile fired by pro-Russian separatists. In January 2023, the European Court of Human Rights ruled the Netherlands case admissible. Hartzell Engine Tech granted FAA PMA Hartzell Engine Tech has received FAA parts manufacturer approval for its Skytech HT starters for Robinson 2-place R22 and 4-place R44 light utility helicopters. 
Hartzell Engine Tech SkyTech HT Starter for Lycoming Engines features an integrated self-resetting kickback protection system, which protects Robinson Helicopter power plants and starter from engine kickback. Hartzell Engine Tech President Keith Bagley remarked, quote, Hartzell Engine Tech's durable SkyTech HT starters with their kickback protection system are in full production and available today through the company's distribution system, end quote. Air India to acquire upwards of 495 new airliners. In October 2022, India's national air carrier Air India was acquired by the Tata Group, a Mumbai-based Indian multinational conglomerate comprising 29 discrete, publicly listed companies with a combined market capitalization of $311 billion. On January 27, 2023, for purpose of furthering the Tata Group's aspiration to restore the airline's reputation in India and overseas, Air India moved to finalize an agreement that would see its fleet revitalized with up to 495 new airliners. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. First new Enstrom helicopter flies. Enstrom Helicopter Corporation announced on January 30th that the first new 480B model helicopter had flown. The turbine-powered 480B is the 1,317th helicopter to roll out of the Enstrom factory and the 255th 480 series helicopter built. Enstrom stressed that the aircraft in question was not cobbled together from an unfinished leftover airframe and surplus parts, rather it was built using components procured, machined, fabricated, and assembled on site. That a new Enstrom helicopter has taken to the skies is fine news. That it has done so in only eight short months after the company was wrestled from Oblivion's dusty embrace beggars belief. The resurgent helicopter, resplendent in a stylish black and gray livery, was urged aloft by Enstrom production test pilot Cody Parkovich, who said, quote, It flew great. No issues. We were able to complete all our flight test steps on schedule. The team did a great job putting this helicopter together, end quote. The new 480B helicopter will be showcased at 2023's HII Expo in Atlanta. The event, the world's largest trade show dedicated to the international helicopter community, runs from March 6th through 9th. Expo attendees are invited to visit Enstrom's display at booth C2820 and glimpse, perhaps, the inchoate wonders currently constrained to the company's drawing boards. And after these messages, first class of United GA pilots graduates from Arizona facility. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Welcome back. First class of United GA pilots graduates from Arizona facility. United announced the graduation of its first group of Zero to Hero Ab Initiato pilots from their United Aviate Academy. The class is the first to come from the Goodyear, Arizona location after United took over the training accommodations that served as Lufthansa's old stomping grounds. The graduating class of 51 students will be the first bolus towards what United hopes will be an eventual but optimistic total of 5,000 by decade's end. Growth at United has continued unabated with expansions to its training facilities for cabin crew and fleet buys on a scale never before seen. Its plan saw the hiring of 2,400 pilots in 2022, with another 2,500 on deck for hire throughout 2023. United hopes to have at least 10,000 pilots by the end of the decade, progressing beyond its current status as the largest carrier across, quote, both the Pacific and Atlantic, end quote. United CEO Scott Kirby and COO Toby Enkvist spoke to the first class of graduates at a ceremony at the Phoenix Goodyear Airport, boosting their spirits as they stare down the timeline at 1,500 hours worth of instructing at the school. Not all will remain at the Aviate location, with some newly minted CFIs making their way to partnered entities. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.